This conference will now be recorded. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. It's 701. I'd like to call to order the Rose Township regular meeting. Uh, Rose Township offices are located at 9080 Mason Street in Holly, Michigan. 442. This is November 11th. Uh, we are meeting virtually uh, at gotomeetings.com. <clears throat> I have a flag if you'd like to say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. Um, I'd like to take a moment to thank those who have served our great country. And could I have a roll call, please? Here. Ms. Miller, here. Mr. Gamka? Here. Ms. Blaska? Here. Mr. Noble? Yes, here. And Ms. Scheibsteiner? Here. At this time, um, would anybody like to make a motion to approve the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. All seconded. All seconded. Yamka, motion approved by Noble. Any discussion? Okay. Can roll call, please? Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Mr. Noble? Yes. And Ms. Blaska? Yes. And Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Motion carries. Next, we have approval of the consent agenda. They would like to move to um, approve. I'll move to approve the consent agenda minus the uh, HIA report. Okay. Support from Blaska. Support from Blaska. Okay, so we have a motion from Miller to approve the consent agenda minus the HIA report and support from Blaska. Is there any discussion? Okay, could I have a roll call, please? Sure. Ms. Blaska? Yes. Mr. Noble? Yes. Ms. Miller, yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. All right, that motion carries. There is no presentation. Uh, this time, I'd like to uh, let anybody who was attending this, the meeting um, have public comments on items on the agenda uh, for three minutes. Uh, three minutes, please. That's maximum. Is there anybody who would like to make um, any comments on agenda items? Okay, next we have unfinished business, which we don't have any of. And new business is the township meetings and facilities under Public Act 228 of 2020, Senate Bill 1108 and MDHSS Emergency Order and Michigan Compiled Laws 333.2253, gathering for hip Prohibitation and face coverings order. So every time we meet, it seems like we're deciding something different or we have something different to present us, even though we do have the policy that says, that while we can meet virtually, um, we will continue to do so. And a lot of that is due to the size of the meeting room. So I, um, we had we measured the meeting room so you guys could get an idea of um, what we were looking at and 
especially like for planning meetings where there's a bigger board and usually um, several other people attending besides the applicant or with the applicant. That's uh, going to make it uh, well pr pretty much uh, unpractical to use our meeting room. This this um, is only good till the beginning of the year, but um, just wanted the board to. Uh, agree that we're going to uh, continue with this uh, based on our policy and just the restrictions we have upon us right now. I did email you guys the other day because Holly Township and the Village of Holly were both talking about um, locking their office doors again and just um, servicing people through email and um, phone and uh, appointments, I believe. Is there any discussion on this? But there are things in here that state how you have to post things, which we, the, the new requirements, there needs to be a, um, let's see if I can get these two mixed up. The way they have to be noticed, it's similar to how we notice a special meeting. Um, the newest thing is these uh, documents that uh, MTA, I got from MTA, they provided to me um, templates because there also has to be a additional notice. It has to be posted on the website, um, either on the homepage or on a page set up just for that which we don't have, so um, I asked to have to put on the home page at this time. And then the, just the other new requirements, the face mask requirement. I think everything except for that posting is pretty much as we followed when we followed the Open Meetings Act. Is there any discussion? Okay. And I think I kind of jumped into B at this. Um, those are kind of similar and they do repeat themselves. The notice of electronic um, meeting public bodies under um, Public Act 228 of 2020, and uh, so I guess I'll just make a motion um, to continue with the virtual meetings and follow the new guidelines as presented for noticing until we hear something different in January of 2021. Does anyone to support me? Support from Alaska. All right. Any discussion? Can I roll call, please? Sure. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Blaska? Teresa? Yes. Uh, Mr. Noble? Yes. Ms. Feller, yes. Ms. Scheibsneider? Yes. Okay, motion carries. Uh, just want to give you an update on the block grant. Uh, the county has not heard anything yet, so we're just kind of waiting. They've heard nothing from the federal government as far as if we're going to even get a black grant or how to go about it. And so usually at this time we would be voting on that. So I just wanted the board to have an update on the community um, block grant. That uh, it's just not available to us at this time and we're not sure it will be. Okay, so next we have announcements. Um, the Planning Commission meeting is tomorrow, November uh, 12th at 7 p.m. 
and that was posted on the website and our meeting board as well as with the agenda. Uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals would be December 1st. I don't believe we have anything at this time for that. Uh, the North Oakland County Fire Authority meeting was canceled. Uh, the assessing office is available at um, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. by phone and by email, 248-858-2179 and doyle, D-O-Y-L-E-R, at oakgov.com is the email. Um, the next township board regular meeting will be December 9th at 7 p.m. Uh, next, we have miscellaneous reports. Uh, North Oakland County Fire Authority, do you have anything, Paul? Uh, during our last meeting on October 20th, the board they um, announced that they had they did sell their old fire truck for $25,000 to a um, city in Pikesville, Kentucky, I believe. And then they bought a new uh, used fire uh, truck from city of Clarkston, or Clarkston, I believe Clarkston or Independence Township, and for ten thousand dollars during that time. So, so they wound up with a net fifteen thousand dollars of money in their pocket. Okay, thank you. Could I make an announcement? Yes. I, I'd like to take this opportunity to. Um, I have to say thank you to Teresa Blas Blaska. I believe this is her last meeting here because of the election and take an opportunity to welcome Pat Walls. I believe next December will be your first meeting. Yes. Thanks, Paul. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Paul. Um, Glenn, you're back, okay. Um, Holly Area Youth Assistance, do you have anything? I know we're doing the, the toy drive. Yes, we have started distributing applications for the Jacobson Quinn toy drive. Um, those will be due back December 7th. Because we cannot have people in the office, everything has to be sent in electronically for, for those applications. Um, so you can find the information on our Facebook page or on the Holly Area Schools website. And we are collecting cash in lieu of gifts this year just because of COVID restrictions. And we will not be allowing the families to shop as they have in the past few years. We are going to bag those gifts and have a pickup day um, the following week for those um, to be distributed. Okay, thank you. Cemetery Committee? Um, cemetery, we are applying for a permit from Oakland County before we can put up the new fence for the right of way because uh, we're into that 33 feet the cemetery is. So I'm working on that. And then we will be meeting again about um, coming up with a sign design for the cemetery. So I was trying to wait until after the election since I've been so busy. So it'll be probably in the next couple of weeks we'll meet again. All right, thank you. Uh, do you have anything? Well, we're on to elections. I'm sure you have something to say about that. Oh, I do. I have lots of things I've said about that. I wanted to know if um, everybody would be available on the 19th around 11.30 or 12 o'clock. Uh, if we could all meet here and we can be sworn in. Um, the whole new board and the deputies around 11:30 or 12. It's Thursday the 19th. We have to be sworn in by the 20th uh, by noon. So if everybody would please check their schedule and let me know. I have um, Joe Rosell, the Oakland County Director of Elections, coming out to swear us in. Debbie, do you mind emailing us that so we sure. can respond? You know, as that would be great. Okay, thank you. Sure. And then the election was wonderful we um we had um probably about 77 percent turnout to 78 right in that area we had um 
Absentee voters, 2294. People who voted in person, 1806. Um, re residents who voted for Trump in person was 1479. Residents who voted for Biden in person was 296. Residents who voted for Trump by absentee, 1190. And residents who voted for Biden by absentee, 1065. So it was a great day. Everybody was in a great mood. Uh, it was a very smooth election. Everybody was very happy. And uh, even though they had to stand in line maybe 20, 25 minutes, it was a great turnout. It was a lovely day. And everybody was in a, in a wonderful mood. It went very smoothly. I had another perfect election again. I had one in March, August, and again in November. So I'm very proud of my team. They did a great job and it was extremely busy. It's probably the biggest election we've ever had here. So we had uh, 4,100 people. So thank you to everybody. They should uh, get a big kudos for that. We, we worked very hard for that seven days a week prior to that election. All right, thank you. Um, Parks and Rec, uh, I, we've mainly just been putting up some no hunting signage. And I actually even got a call after some of it was uh, put in by the Markland area. And he wanted to know who was putting, he saw some guy putting up signs. And so apparently people have thought they could hunt on uh, the Dearborn Park property or have in the past and were surprised when the sign was going <laughs> um, Also, I think I already told you that I was, I asked the road commission to have no parking signs for the Civic Park because when the fire um, apparatus pull out, they have difficulty um, seeing if cars are parked along uh, there and that's usually during, you know, baseball games, so. The, uh, Heritage Committee is working on things that we can do virtually, uh, some videos and things like that. Uh, it'll probably be a little while because we're hoping to get a little collection of them uh, started uh, before we start posting them. Uh, the supervisor, I um, attended the No Has Advisory Board meeting. We are looking at four possible uh, events for next year. Usually there's five, but we're, gonna, we're looking at four. Uh, for 2021, we're looking at Oxford, Clarkston, Orion, and the Oakland County campus. We had the two this year due to the COVID. We could only do the two, and the, a lot of people, almost, um, I believe it was 70%, um, signed up ahead of time because that's what, what requirement and that worked out really well. And we're considering doing that going forward because it saved a lot of admin time by, by doing it that way. Um, Rose Township had 25 people participate in the two events and 54% said it was their first time attending. 46% brought electronic um, waste and the, the resolution to see if we want to continue with that will be on our <laughs> month's agenda. She's just going to be mailing the, that information to each township who's interested in participating uh, next week sometime. Uh, also, the gutters that were installed on the offices uh, where we were having, there was three different spots where we had flooding going on in the basement, meeting room area, uh, the restroom and the kitchen. We had like four days of continuous rain and there was no signs of any flooding. So it looks like that was the fix we needed. The Davisburg Gardner uh, culvert was completed on August 2nd in the afternoon. Instead of being a 62 day closure, it was a 92 day closure. You mean November 2nd? Oh yeah, that's, thank you. November 2nd, it was the day before election day. Uh, they are looking at, you'll see them, the engineers are out at Milford and Water Road. That's gonna be the next one. It was actually not going to happen next year, but they're having some issues with it. You can see there's a little patch in Milford Road there. So in 2021, we will be having uh, that culvert replaced. It's actually interesting because it has um, field stone for part of it from uh, like over a hundred years old. 
not the whole thing, but part of its actual um, field stone construction. Uh, the audit will be at our next meeting as well in December. And I also would like to, um, on behalf of the township board and the um, township residents, like to thank Teresa, uh, Trustee Belaska, for serving the last four years and serving on the HIA board as well, which I think you said you were, you planned on staying on that, which was is great. Um, we do appreciate your service and we hope that you keep in touch with us. And next month we'll be welcoming Trustee Wall. And that's all I have. Next we have brief public comments. Is there anybody attending our meeting that would like to make any comments? I would. Julia Stern. Hello. Go ahead. We Hello. hear you. Okay. Um, the uh, possibility of having uh, open meeting violations, I'm going to apprise you of that because there's been a, you've had a habit of uh, having technical difficulties, uh, especially when we have a, uh, a virtual meeting. You didn't have any problems with the actual live meetings. I did contact um, Milford Township, Highland Township, Clarkston, Holly Independence Township regarding who is in charge of the mute button. You are the only supervisor among them that uh, retains possession of the mute button. All of them use their clerk with the exception of one that has an, a dedicated IT professional there. Um, I'm not going to comment. Well, let me, I'll skip to the to the best part. Is Debbie Miller has done a fantastic job as far as uh, uh, supervising the election. She um, got workers. She got chairman. She did a fantastic job. There were no problems. You probably heard news throughout the state of other townships that have been. Uh, entertaining or been been sued part of a suit and uh, she had no problems in fact um, after the election she had all of the uh, uh, tabulations sent to Oakland County by 830 um, let's see so she did a fantastic job on that and she's probably spent uh, more time doing the elections than all the other elected uh, township people. More time than uh, Gamka, more time than Plews, more time than uh, Scheib Snyder. And Renee also took part in that fantastic effort. Um, other things that I'm not going to comment about are the... Um, uh, lawsuits regarding Hutchins, the devoted barn, um, also the guy with the, the rocks and the, the logs there that you're uh, taking up the torch for your friend with a property next to the devoted barn. I wish I had the township that would do my lawsuits for me. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Teresa Blaska's her uh, refusal to recuse herself and lining her pockets with monies for the uh, NACFA. Uh, what else am I not going to talk about? Well, I'm not going to talk about the uh, five uh, graves that are out on the uh, uh, Oakland County roadway. I'm not going to talk about those how you're going to resolve that situation. Um, I guess that's as much as I've got for this time. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes, please. Uh, Linda Dagan. Um, I have a request. Um, and Debbie didn't know about this, but 
the uh, cemetery, BB Cemetery, the corner of Fish Lake Road and Rose Center Road West. The entrances to the cemetery, I will say the county has been taking care of the roads. However, all the scraping and oiling they're doing, they've uh, lowered the road enough so that the entrance into the cemetery, which is on the county property, we can't get, you can hardly get a regular car up into the cemetery now, especially the first entrance. I wondered if you could have them go out there and build that back up somehow. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. You can't hear me? Hello? I can hear you. Oh, okay. So uh, you're talking to the entrance where? At um at BB Cemetery. At BB. Okay. Yeah. I will have a look into that. Both both entrances, but the first one closest to Rose Center Road is the worst. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And yes, Debbie did do an excellent job, and I want to thank her and Renee. They have both worked unendable hours for weeks before this election. So thank you, Deb and Renee, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anybody else? last time does anybody else have a public comment okay and time is 7 27 and i'll move to adjourn have a great night everybody happy vet veterans day be safe be well